As we sat at the table with our food in front of us, I checked my email again. Toby shook his head as he took a bite of his breakfast sandwich. Checking your phone every 10 seconds isn't going to make the email appear any faster. Eat your food. You said you only had a scone and coffee at the hotel. I'm just excited that we can finally get back to work. I know. Give me your phone and eat. Reluctantly, I slid my phone across the table. Toby put it in his pocket and gestured to my plate. I took a bite of my waffle. I wonder who this investor is. We need to meet with them so we can draw up a contract. I want to get started on the project as soon as possible. We can think about that later. First, we need to get you to the doctor. I can faintly smell your pheromones. Why is this still happening? This is the third time I've had to change medications. Toby frowned. Stop. It wasn't your fault. It was. Toby. We've been over this a million times. Even the doctors said it could have been any alpha that triggered it. Still, I sighed. Getting on this topic was never good. No matter how many times we talk about it. He still blames himself. It was going to happen sooner or later. I'm just glad it happened around someone I trust. Any other alpha wouldn't have been able to control themselves. And I could have been in real danger. If I was more careful. I reached across the table and touched his hand. You'll hurt yourself if you keep clenching your fist. He unclenched his fist and took my hand. Let's finish our food and go to the hospital. He nodded and let go of my hand. The ringing in my ears blocked all the other sounds around me. I could see his lips moving. But nothing. The only thing that competed with the ringing was the intense heat that seemed to consume my entire body. It felt like I was burning from the inside out. I tugged at my clothes but he kept moving my hands. Holding them down so I couldn't move. My mind tried to figure out what was happening. But I couldn't concentrate. I just wanted the ringing to stop. Hina, I need you to focus. I called emergency services. They will be here in 10 minutes. Just hold on a little longer. Hot. Two. Hot. I squirmed under him, trying to pull my hands free. Why was he so strong? Off. Please. Clothes. No. You have to keep them on. And please stop moving. It's hard to focus. I'm already using all my restraint. My eyes tried to focus on him. I tried to read his lips. What was he saying? Why is he sweating so much? My vision started getting blurry. Hot. I know. Just a few more minutes. I think I hear the sirens. My eyes were too blurry to see. The ringing got louder. They're here. Hello? We're in here. Please hurry. The EMT rushed in. What happened? He asked through his mask. I forgot to open my windows this morning. And my pheromones triggered his heat. It's his first time. Please help him. We will. Good job holding on till we got here. Another EMT came in with an oxygen tank. Here. Put this on. He handed me the mask. Breathe slowly. The first EMT gave Hina a shot in his arm. What's that? It's a sedative. It'll calm him down some. Have you contacted his guardians? Yes. They are on the way to the hospital. Can I ride with you? Yes. But keep the mask on. His pheromones are very strong since it's his first time going into heat. I'm surprised you were able to control yourself so well. They lifted Hina onto the stretcher and started for the door. I followed behind them. I took my inhibitors this morning. Still, to be so young and have this amount of restraint is impressive. I should have been more careful. Don't be so hard on yourself. Hena's mother was waiting for us at the entrance. It's my fault. I'm so sorry. She put a hand on my shoulder. There's no way that's true. I know you would never do this on purpose. Call your parents and give them an update. She smiled softly. Ma'am. We are ready to move him to admissions. I'll let you know when he can have visitors. I nodded. She squeezed my hand. Then turned to follow the nurse. I pulled out my phone to call my mom. We paid the tab and headed for the hospital. Sitting at my desk. I browsed their website. Apparently. They started their business right after college. Their company history reads. While in college. We participated in the work study program for our majors. Since Toby double majored in finance and marketing. He worked as an assistant to the marketing manager in the finance department. While I, who doubled in business administration and economics, worked as a secretary at an investment firm for my freshman and sophomore years.
then at an accounting firm for my junior and senior years. It goes on to talk about how they came up with the idea to start their business management company. Their ethos and practices. So far, they are managing a museum and a realtor company. They are partners with a local real estate company and an advertisement company. You seem to be doing pretty well for yourself. The door to my office opened. What's this I hear about you investing in an art gallery? Hello Shima, how are you this morning? I'm fine Dashi, how are you? I'm good, I have a question. He stared at me blankly as he sat in the chair in front of my desk. That's how this should have gone. But since you skipped that part of the conversation. Shima, you're so cranky today. Do you want some coffee? What I want is to know why you didn't consult your business partner before you invested money into something. Especially something as random as an art gallery. You don't even like art. First of all, it's a museum, not an art gallery. Secondly, I do like art. Since when? Since I decided I liked it. He let out an exasperated sigh and rubbed his temples. So tell me about this museum. I showed him the research. I smiled at the thought of seeing Henna's face at the contract meeting.